Cheers. Hello, and welcome to another What Are We Talking About This Week? with John. I'm John. Hello. This week, we're looking at the subject of crossroads, the criminals. After Jesus had taken Barabbas' place after the trial, Jesus was nailed to a cross to die. But Jesus was not alone. There were two other people on crosses next to him. Who were these criminals? We don't really know. Sometimes different versions of the Bible will say that these men were robbers or thieves, but they weren't just sneaking into people's houses and taking things or doing a bit of pickpocketing. Being put on a cross was the punishment given to bandits or terrorists or slaves that committed murder. We don't know exactly who these men were next to Jesus, but being put on a cross was a very nasty punishment, so they had probably done something really bad. The book of Luke then says this. One of the criminals who hung there hurled insults at Jesus. Aren't you the Messiah? Save us and yourself. But the other criminal told him off. Don't you fear God, he said. Since we are under the same sentence, we are punished justly. We are getting what our deeds deserve. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus answered him, truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. The criminals knew that they were there because they had done something really bad. One of them chose to try and make fun of Jesus, but the other realized that he had done bad things and realized who Jesus was. Then Jesus forgave him and told him he could enter heaven. Hold on. Jesus just forgave him just like that. but. I just said that these men had done terrible things. If this criminal were a bandit, he'd probably been robbing and killing and destroying for years, not caring about other people. But Jesus just forgave him. He recognized the things he had done wrong and he recognized Jesus. That's all it takes. It's sometimes hard for us to understand, but Jesus can forgive you no matter what you've done, no matter what you've done. You just have to be sorry for the bad things that you've done and believe that Jesus is the Son of God. But Jesus isn't stupid. You can't spend your whole life doing bad things, planning to just ask him for forgiveness at the end. In the book of Matthew, Jesus even warns, not everyone who calls out to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Only those who actually do the will of my Father in heaven will enter. Once we realize who Jesus is, we have to do our very best to do good and follow God. And sometimes we will slip up. Sometimes we will make mistakes, but Jesus loves us. That's why he was willing to die on the cross so that he can forgive us for those moments when we come to him and say, I'm sorry that I've done things wrong. And I know that you are God and that you love me.